Oh man, it's not good guys. It's really not good. Woke up this morning to this particular news story. Blue light from phones, tablets could accelerate blindness. Study finds. Blindness, guys. All I do here is talk about technology, mostly smartphones. You see the picture on here, the guy's lying in bed. That's probably you, probably me, browsing, scrolling, watching videos, you're watching this video on your smartphone. Is it really making you blind? According to this particular study, yes, blue light beaming from smartphones and tablets is changing cells in our eyes that could accelerate blindness. Researchers from the University of Toledo studied the impact of blue light, which also comes from the sun, triggers toxic reactions in retinal molecules that sense light and signal the brain. Results showed blue light helps generate poisonous chemical reactions, killing photoreceptors, which cannot be restored once they die off. Even without photoreceptors, we were observing cytotoxicity, I mean cells that were dying. So only when exposed to light, we tested multiple colors of light, but this toxicity or this cell death only occurs when you have blue light. This leads to macular degeneration and incurable eye disease that causes blindness starting in your 50s or 60s, researchers said. This is no joke, this stuff here. Now we've known for a little while that this blue light coming from our smartphones might be a problem. In fact, many manufacturers have put some sort of eye comfort mode, true tone, some kind of late night reading mode, changes the color temperature or representation of color from your device. So it goes to a sort of more yellow tinge, but it turns out the situation might be more severe. It's not a new concept. TVs have been outputting similar type of light for a while, but of course the difference here is the amount of exposure. People, they're addicted to their smartphones, sitting there glaring at them, usually in dark rooms, which is supposedly even worse. Especially if such a condition can occur if you look at your iPhone screen in the dark. See, this blue light is not just bad for the health of your eyes, it could also be bad for your sleep in general. You might actually limit your melatonin production during sleep. That's the stuff that makes you feel well rested, feel good, and here you are messing with it, checking your Instagram feed late at night. Jack, talking to Jack here. So here is the actual study conducted by the University of Toledo. We are being exposed to blue light continuously and the eye's cornea and lens cannot block or reflect it. It's no secret that blue light harms our vision by damaging the eye's retina. Now macular degeneration is an incurable eye disease. It sets in somewhere in your 50s or 60s. It's toxic. If you shine blue light on retinol, the retinol kills photoreceptor cells as the signaling molecule on the membrane dissolves. This is the key part right here. Photoreceptor cells do not regenerate in the eye. When they're dead, they're dead for good. That's the scary kind of dead. They're not coming back. Now it's important to note that no activity is sparked with green, yellow, or red light. The retinol generated toxicity by blue light is universal. It can kill any cell type. These studies are important, right? I see people on the street, their faces are buried in their smartphones. Now is it a real solution? Are people gonna go around and wear a uh, the special eyewear, the, the UV reduction eyewear. Could this be the first generation of individuals? Everybody ends up blind at 50 or 60? No, probably not, okay, of course. But it looks like via this study, the likelihood is increasing. What can you do? Well, it scared me enough to go in and just turn on the comfort mode on my device permanently. I've been using the P20 Pro here. You can select natural tone, color mode and temperature and eye comfort, which I have turned on here. And on this device, they actually let you toggle it from cooler to warmer. I got it the warmest, all right, I'm afraid. I really don't wanna be looking at a yellow display or yellowish display either, but I'm just like, I'm weighing the options here, you know? The funny thing is generally with video and displays, like I prefer cooler tones, of course. The blindness tones are the ones that I prefer. So the other thing you can do is limit the amount of time you're in like a pitch black room with the screen on blast. Your eyes, they adjust for the room first. Your pupils, they open way up. Then you hit it with the screen, it's like psh. That's one thing you can do. Next up, you can look at your app list and see if there's a night mode. Of course, with night modes, the displays are outputting less light in general. Of course, the before the bed thing is like step one. And right now you're like, Lou, you sound like my dad here. I'm just giving you some tips here. You hold on to that vision. I want you to see clearly. Basically anywhere on your device where you have a chance to limit the intensity of light coming from it that's being received by those photoreceptors in your eyes, 
you could potentially increase the health of your eyeballs based on this study. Toggle it back, yellow it out, save your eyeballs. It's a public service announcement, okay? It's unfortunate. There's no free lunch in this game. All right, you get something good, you give something up, limit it, peel it back a bit. Quit everything else except unbox therapy videos. We'll be all right. Right, Jack?